Hello, uh, hello, and have a nice day. Uh, this is Panis Pieri from Disrupt Cyprus and Disrupt Europe. We are here with uh, Florian Sora from Project Manager for from EBN, the European Business Innovations and Network and Center. Uh, we're here today to discuss about the CAST Virtual Hackathon with challenges on sustainable tourism. Uh, Florian will do also a presentation for us to explain more about the hackathon. Welcome, Florian, to Disrupt Cyprus. Thank uh, you very much, Panis. Where are you based now? Uh, uh, thank you. First, thank you very much for having me. It's uh, really a pleasure to, to share uh, this message with, with your community. So basically, the events that we are doing right now are in direct connection with the, direct, the Disrupt uh, Cyprus and Disrupt Europe. And I will be very happy to, to share the, the content that we have uh, for you. Uh, right now, I'm based in, in France, in Toulouse. Uh, EBN that I'm going to speak in, uh, in a few seconds is based in Brussels. But we we are covering uh, the whole European territory, so yeah, maybe we are there where the the audience is as well. Your audience is. So hello from cool. France. Hello from Toulouse. Hello from France. Uh, hope everything is safe there, in the current situation. Uh, Cyprus were a bit better now. Where every day you have zero infections and we're going well. And um, by the way, if you, if you have any questions, guys, ladies, uh, if you are watching, you have any questions, just drop them in wherever you are watching. You might be watching from Disrupt Europe, Disrupt Cyprus, or my personal page at Panis uh, We're monitoring the comments and we'll be answering your questions after the presentation of, of uh, Florian. And we'll have also a big discussion about the hackathon and what uh, EBN is trying to achieve with the hackathon. Um, so, um, uh, Florian, because I know always one my, can you tell us a bit about you and EPN and then we can start with the presentation. Uh, yeah, uh, I will, I will just uh, present myself quickly, but it's not about myself, everything. So quite quickly about my background, Florian Sora, project manager at EBN. I'm, I'm very passionate about innovation in general. Uh, about how we can help uh, European ecosystems, uh, companies to grow and to, to have new customers around Europe. So our, our mission, uh, TBN, is to uh, help those uh, project managers with ideas, with the innovation solutions to uh, develop and to grow and to scale up uh, at European and then at an international level. And I'm part of a quite... Uh, complementary team at TBN, very international team. Uh, ourselves, we are quite uh, well spread at European level because EBN is a European association. Uh, maybe I will say some words about TBN that was uh, created by the European Commission in the 80s uh, in order to support um, innovation ecosystems at European level. Uh, basically, we are ho we are helping uh, companies to create, to develop, to grow, and to scale up uh, at European at an international level. We are we have members uh, in uh, different countries in Europe, so we are present in almost all the countries in, in European Union and outside European Union, in Asia, in uh, in North America, in South America as well, in Africa, um, and our our members are business support organizations that uh, help companies to uh, succeed in their, in their business. So basically offering them uh, spaces to work, offering them expertises, offering them mentorship and coaching uh, in order to get funding solutions, in order to have a right business model, in order to overcome uh, some problems that uh, they might have in the business journey. And the TBN, yeah, we are supporting uh, all these entire ecosystems of uh, incubators, accelerators, governments, organizations, clusters, uh, universities, and so on. I, I think that uh, some, some of those are really your uh, audience as well, Pani, so 
happy happy to share uh, our activities with uh, with them as well and uh, we are quite specialized as well uh, we are we have activities in eco innovation we have activities in smart manufacturing and digitalization but also in creative and digital industries in social innovation and in space uh, so we are dealing with different thematics different sectors and different uh, initiatives projects uh, at european level what i'm going to speak about today relates more with eco innovation um, and uh, creative and digital industries but can also touch a bit digitalization and uh, uh, social impact, of course, at large. So yeah, this is about a bit about EBN, about what we are doing. Uh, but uh, right now, I'm going to speak about one of our initiatives that we have currently at EBN, uh, that is called uh, Cast uh, Cast Program and uh, uh, the hackathon uh, that is organized uh, in the framework of CAST project. Uh, so, a few words about CAST. Maybe it's a COSME program, so financed by the European Commission. COSME, I don't know if some of your audience knows, but COSME is competitiveness for small and medium sized enterprises. Uh, and in uh, this CAST project, we're trying to build uh, a network at European level of creative accelerator, so business support organization that can support businesses at European level. This is one strand of the activities that we have. And another strand is to uh, also support uh, companies to develop uh, and grow and scale up by offering them training uh, workshop opportunities, by putting them in contact with investors and by uh, putting them in contact with our members in order to be supported where they need more to. So this is a this is an overall information for your audience as well. If you need uh, any kind of business support and any kind of uh, uh, external uh, view on your project idea and solution that relates with sustainable tourism, because this is the core activity that we have do not hesitate to to contact us at cast uh, or at uh, at ebn so right now just to enter in the in the core of the subject that uh, of this uh, today live session i will say some words about the cast virtual hackathon so this is, an, this is an event because we have seen uh, lately that, uh, is what you are asking us, if uh, how is uh, the, the pandemic affecting us? But, well, it's affecting the touring sector uh, highly right now. We all know that we cannot travel as we used to. We cannot move as we used to. Uh, and of course, businesses around Europe uh, are suffering consequences. And we at CAST and uh, TBN, we consider that it will be important to find some solutions to these challenges and how we, we started to reflect on how we can tackle uh, this, uh, these problems. And when speaking about to our members, partners in CAST, when speaking about European Commission as well, uh, when speaking about with business support organizations around Europe, we have discovered that our Two main challenges of course there's many many challenges related with the covid pandemic but we wanted to address two of them and this is why we want to organize this hackathon so the hackathon is taking place next week uh, between uh, first and third of july everyone is open i i suppose that your community is very in the very core of our target so we are targeting students we are targeting business professionals, we are targeting universities, cities, public authorities, uh, coaches, mentors, and evaluators that could be involved in the, in the event. Until now, teams and uh, teams, teams that is, uh, is registered and mentors and coaches, we have around 80 participants and we can still uh, accept registrations until next Monday. 
So about the challenges that I was uh, telling you at first, we have identified two challenges, two main challenges uh, in the uh, insurance sector. Business continuity is one of them. So we know that the uh, touring sector was ha uh, heavily affected by the COVID and right now we are trying to put together innovative ideas in order to restart the tourist, in order to restart tourism operations and in order to, of course, if we are restarting the tourism operations, we want to also ensure that everyone, everything will be uh, managed and coordinated as responsible and securely as possible. So this is why we are searching as well solutions first to restart and then to, to ensure responsible and secure tourism experience. And the second one, the second challenge is related with business models because of course we consider that when a business is created we need as well a logic uh, behind it. We need a business model, so a coherent strategy. And uh, we have seen that the companies that uh, are in, in the touring sector are also affected by, by the crisis. Uh, maybe in their business model, some financing support uh, is lacking right now. Some stakeholders, traditional stakeholders that they had and key actors are not present anymore. So we are trying to reflect uh, these, uh, these uh, new ways of identifying ideas to create, deliver and capture value related with sustainable tourism. So yeah, solutions that can be uh, related with strategic connections between public and private sector and as well solutions to communicate better about tourism opportunities uh, in a safe and responsible manner. So these are the two challenges. Uh, challenge one, business continuity in tourism sector. Challenge two, new sustainable business models. And we are waiting for teams to offer us ideas and innovative solutions that might be technical or not technical in order to answer these two challenges. If we are speaking about the agenda, I'm not looking at the questions until now. I don't know if you have any questions until now, but I will have a look uh, maybe at the end. Uh, but I'm, if I'm entering in the agenda of the program uh, for the CAST uh, virtual hackathon, as I mentioned, it will be a three days uh, event, uh, two days and a half to be more precise. So we will start on, on 1st of July next week, next Wednesday, Wednesday at 1 p.m. We we are waiting for all the all the participants to to join Central European time. Uh, at 1 p.m. we will have an opening session with the European Commission, with DG Grow and DG Connect. Uh, there will be some representatives from there, some from Cosme. We will have as well EBN members involved, and we'll have some discussions about the importance of digitalization in the touring sector about the industry 4.0 and at the end we are trying to reflect about what is the future of tourism so to give the the participants some ideas some reflections in order to to have then some food of thought to to begin starting on creating their their innovative ideas to our challenges this is in the opening session then we are going to start uh, teams can can start to understand the problem. They will be working on Slack. We are going to use Slack as a tool to to make uh, people communicate. We are going to have as well opening sessions, uh, teleconferences as uh, tools as Zoom uh, that uh, as Zoom that we are using finance right now as well. So we are going to use uh, something related as well, so people can connect as well. If for example through Slack, they cannot find the right answer. So we, we will have a moderating team, some facilitators there connected online in order to, to make the discussion and communication possible. And we have as well some, some workshops, uh, three workshops during the three days. First day, it was important for us to have an ideation workshop, so brainstorming ideas about how we can uh, find uh, tools and uh, to, to our problems and also we give we want to give some to the team some workflow uh, 
mechanism in order to to be able to discuss with the their peers because we have some teams that are already registered but we have as well some individuals that are in search of teams so we'll have many many complementary competencies there so people here they will need to learn about each other and about their complementarities in order to start working so in the late afternoon uh, basically on first day the teams will, will start working on their on the solution this is for the day one then in the day two we will have uh, a first checkpoint i'm sure that uh, the people that uh, are are uh, active in these hackathons they know about checkpoints we are, we have around 15 mentors that uh, we are going to help us so business professionals also persons with comp uh, competencies in computing also professionals in tourism also public authorities so many different competencies that can help the teams when they have blocking points uh, there and uh, we have at least two hours in each day uh, to help uh, teams to solve these problems, blocking points, challenges, uh, obstacles that they identify related with computing, related with, uh, with business development, business uh, modeling and so on. We are there to help them uh, in the morning uh, each day uh, on day two and day three now from 10 to 12 at least. So each team will have a mentor, its own mentor, that can uh, can uh, contact through Slack, uh, work through other other tools in order to have uh, chats or one-to-one -one, uh, uh, teleconferences uh, with with them. Then in the afternoon we'll have a business development and validation workshop. Here we want to help teams uh, that already identify maybe solutions to have more structure in their uh, thinking and uh, uh, identify these this important uh, uh, elements that are uh, beneficiaries, for example, when thinking to a solution, uh, uh, financing mechanism, uh, key value proposition, key actors. Uh, 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 so all the elements that are in a, in a business development plan. So we are trying to discuss this with the teams in this workshop and then uh, starting with uh, 4 p.m uh, or in the late afternoon the teams uh, will we hope that we'll have already all the elements uh, will will have identified the problems and the solutions that they want to offer and they will already start working on a business case and think as well at the presentation that they are going to offer in the third day so in the third day, uh, we'll have a second and final checkpoint. Uh, we'll speak as well about plan, progress, and problems as in the first uh, checkpoint. So in the July 2nd, we'll have as well a pitching workshop because we are aware that some, some teams, maybe they, they are not uh, used to effectively pitching their ideas or presenting their ideas, not to investors as we already we are normally organizing but to to jurors because in the afternoon uh, we'll have jurors that will decide who will be the winner so we will uh, try to discuss with the teams in this pitching workshop on how they can present effectively in three minutes uh, what they were working on uh, during the past two days um, and in the afternoon we'll have a closing session where all the participants will be joining, they will be pitching uh, during three minutes their ideas, and they will get some feedback as well from the jury, some questions and feedback with uh, recommendations, with amelioration points, so they can do better next time, or even uh, everyone can uh, can do better. So um, yeah, there we are going to, to, to put some recommendations. And in the late afternoon, we'll have the evaluation with all the jurors, uh, and we'll have a prize ceremony at the end and definition of the winner. This is it about the agenda. Then I'm going to speak you to, 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 to tell you about the participation and registration. So the participation is free of charge, very important. Um, 
the participants registered to the CAS hackathon will obtain also a free ticket to the, the event that our CAS partner, Creative Business Network in Denmark, is organizing. Uh, this event is called Bright 20, and it will take place next week on uh, starting on next Monday, 29th of, uh, of June. And it will take place until 3rd of, 3rd of July. So one week of uh, interesting uh, event related with travel and hospitality, related with access to finance, related with meeting investors, uh, business and business development in creative and sustainable uh, industries. And we think that is a very nice opportunity to participate to the hackathon, but also participate to this uh, sister and peer event uh, that uh, Creative Business Network and is organizing with Bright20. Yes, so in terms of uh, target, as I said before, we are very, very keen and happy to welcome everyone that is uh, uh, related with the tourism industry. So hackers, do not hesitate, business professionals, do not hesitate, developers, designers, uh, do not hesitate to, to attend and to register. But also students, more largely, uh, we are not forgetting you we are not forgetting uh, as well uh, universities, public authorities, uh, cities in general. So really everyone that is interesting in tourism, it's interesting in, uh, in providing uh, solutions. Uh, it's interesting in developing uh, um, a journey, a business journey. Please join. I think that uh, you will have a lot of creative ideas and business support uh, expertises. Uh, doing uh, next week. Teams, uh, in, in regards to teams, uh, we are saying that it's better for us to register as teams, uh, but no worries if you want to register as well as individuals. If you want to reg register as teams, uh, we are putting the framework so the teams can consist of one to six persons. But you can also register as individual, tell us uh, about your needs, tell us about what you want to receive in terms of mentoring and in terms of complementarity in the team level, and we will make you the, the matching. And the deadline of registration, as I said, is uh, next week, Monday, 29th of June. Yes, in terms of prizes, very last slide, I'm aware of the time. Um, in terms of prizes, of course, you are not participating. It's a free event. It will be very, very interesting for you to, to participate and develop your venture. But we are also trying to involve you in, uh, in some other activities, follow-up activities. We are going to try to further develop your idea. So try to understand that uh, it's not one short event, but we, we have reflected to this more broadly. So uh, in regards to this, as I said before, you have access to Bright20 event that is more global. Uh, you, you will have also free access to EBN Congress. We hope that it will be physically in 2021. Uh, there you will have uh, access to B2B sessions. Hopefully until then your idea will be growing and you can already meet with corporates to present your idea. We can, you can already meet investors in order to finance your idea there. Uh, so you are welcome, uh, the, the, the entry is free. So we are going to organize all these sessions in order to put you in front of the, uh, yeah, in front of the line in order to uh, make some business. And then you will have as well guaranteed investor pitch in our next CAST investment forum because we have different activities in CAST. We have investment workshops, we have investment forums with investors. So the winners are going to, to be offered this possibility. And the second prize is a free, free entrance as well, a ticket to one week event, uh, Bright Creative Business Cup in 2021. Um, these, are the, these are the prizes and we really want to make a journey, make the journey of business creation with you developing your ideas in sustainable tourism and responding to these challenges and be assured that we are going to be there with you for a long time. And uh, yeah, 
this is kind of it. Some uh, some I, some uh, words as well about the evaluation. Uh, but uh, for those that uh, are going to register, we are going to send this. We want the the ideas to be practical. We want them to be original, so innovative. We want them to be a uh, benef ben to be beneficial for the for the clients. So to, to not be too abstract and of course sustainable we want to see that this can have a follow-up uh, we have as well some percentages in terms of impact in terms of technical complexity and novelty in terms of prototype and business plans this is going to be provided to you to those that will be registering uh, yes this is it i don't know if you have any questions uh, I think that it would be the moment right now to open for the questions because I have more slides, but I'm aware of the time. Thank you very much. If you, Toria, if you want to present some other important stuff, you can do it down and then we can proceed with the questions. Um, I didn't really have uh, many, many different complementary um, uh, things, but I had information about the the workshop. So just to tell you that. Yeah, yeah, maybe uh, it's good to share also. Yeah, the yeah, workshop just, because we just to, we yeah. had a question if the workshop would be in English, but everything would be in English, correct? Yes, everything. It's a uh, it's an European uh, it's an European uh, project, so everything will be in English. It's an European event. Uh, we have participants from many many different countries. We are happy to have Cyprus as well, but uh, I think that we, we have as well members from Disrupt Europe and uh, from the community there because I understand that you are, you are European, quite European and international. So yes, uh, the, the event is European and the language will be English. But we have also <laughs> competencies in other languages if you want us to support uh, further. Uh, so yeah, for the workshops, as I said, we'll have three workshops. The idea is to actually start from scratch, start from your from one idea, and to make uh, to build a, a solution at first, uh, at least a minimal viable product that could be technological or not. So have some kind of logic be behind the idea afterwards. Um, so for this, we are helping you with these workshops ideation. So how you can go from your idea to reality, how you can identify a good idea, how uh, you can find a compelling problem because we have to think about challenges as well of your customers. You have to think about in business uh, uh, terms, uh, speed pitching as well first uh, to understand your idea and to give you feedback if you think that that might be working for us or not. And then uh, we'll have some testimonials as well from the industry. We have some companies that, uh, that are in the touring sector that will share their experience in this period because uh, we understand that uh, yeah, there are many problems, but we are trying to show how the companies are, are readapting themselves, how uh, the companies are providing solutions uh, and that might be help, helping you, helpful for you. So we have as well, we'll have as well a first testimonial here in the first edition workshop. Then business development, we will go, we'll tap into lean startup methodology. So uh, we can help you uh, take up, take off uh, quite quickly with your idea, uh, understand the customer, understand what is necessary for the product development. Uh, what uh, should we have in mind in terms of business models? So. We, we are trying to understand uh, this kind of terms of value proposition uh, of revenue streams, uh, who can be your financiers, who can be your funders, uh, building pro pro very important building pro pro products that meet customer needs and uh, creating uh, quickly experiments uh, that you can test. And here at the end, we'll have as well a second testimonial each time we are trying to back up our uh, our theoretical or our our uh, uh, workshops with interventions from the industry, so you'll have a second test um, testimonial here, um, and then in the 
in the third workshop, you, you will have these kind of recommendations on how you can uh, make your presentation appealing, how you can uh, pitch your idea effectively. And uh, you will have as well possibility to revise some of your pitch deck and to pitch at the end. So this will be on the 3rd uh, July in the morning. So that will be helpful for you for the 3rd of July in the afternoon where you are going to actually pitch to the jurors. Here in the 3rd workshop will be between ourselves. Uh, it will be a friendly and constructive uh, feedback and then uh, the real deal would be the in the 3rd of July after. So this is it, Pani, the complementary uh, slides that, uh, that I have. Cool. Yeah, it's important that the workshops, because uh, the workshops helps uh, guide the teams during the hackathon and to build something. But uh, yeah, let's... Uh, okay, we had uh, some nice comments from our friend and broadcaster, Saskia Gostandino. Uh, what a fantastic opportunity. Uh, and and uh, some other positive comments about the website that is easy to navigate. By the way, we have, we have put the website, uh, we have put, uh, have added the website in the... Yeah, um, in the comments, I understand. And the an important thing, an important thing to, for, for the others to know, we'll have uh, from that main page, we are going to produce another page where uh, that is under developing right now, under construction, where you can see actually all the mentors, all the competencies that you have together, all the speakers involved, uh, and uh, the, all the actors, digital innovation hubs that are supporting us. Uh, I think that this is important for you to see. So. Uh, do not hesitate to register and then we are getting in touch with you to to tell you more about uh, this event that is taking place next week and uh, we have a whole team it's important to for you to understand that we have a whole team that will be in the backup and in contact we can support you uh, with any questions do not hesitate really okay and yeah many thanks also i would be one of the jury members Yes, we're really happy to have you, Panis, as well as the joint. Yeah, and with the other European. By the way, does uh, if someone is what she is not from Europe, can they can they submit? The, can they come to the hackathon? It's because it's a virtual can, hackathon. They can come. They can come, but uh, eventually the the idea and the winning team has to have some European component because it's an European uh, funded, but. Also, of course, competencies might have from might come from different territory where we do not want to block. Uh, we will not have teams as such uh, that can register, but we can have individuals that can register from other parts of the. the, the yeah, that world. was my uh, that was my second question. Do you ex do you the registration is it's per person or is a team a team yes. can come as a team. Also. Yes, we have both. We have individuals, uh, and the, when individuals are uh, are registering, we are asking them if they need some complementary uh, competencies. Uh, we ask them if they need us to put them in contact from now uh, with other other uh, uh, members or other uh, persons. And uh, if it's the case, we are going to put them in contact. But also, we have the registration open for teams. So we have several companies that. Teams that register, teams of three persons, of six persons, uh, of two persons, we have everything. So, yeah, looking forward to have both, uh, to have individuals or, or teams. And if the teams, this is the requirement, if the teams are registering, the teams have to be from Europe. But if individuals want to register, they can be also from outside Europe, but they have to participate in a European team. Okay, and uh, okay. Many thanks to our friend Stavros Campanellas uh, that shared this video in the Enterprise Europe Network uh, page uh, in Thank Cyprus. And the uh, Enterprise Europe Network can help also more. I don't know. I think you are connected somehow. Yes, yeah. Europe, Enterprise Europe Network is our partner and they also uh, made some dissemination at the uh, Enterprise Europe Network channel, global channels, and then I think that uh, the information was also 
disseminated through enterprise Europe networks uh, locally. So thank you very much to to our uh, to our friend that also shared shared the yeah. enterprise. Yeah, and here are many thanks to Cyric and Gravity that uh, they are they brought this event to our attention and we are doing this is the reason that we are doing this event yes if now Moises is, is connected it's... thank you very much Moises from Cyric that to put us in contact very good connection with Pani so thanks thanks a lot Cyric. Cyric it's one of our members actually that we have in Cyprus a very close uh, member yeah and gravity is the I think it's the only official uh, EBN UIBC uh, business Innovation Center in Cyprus. Uh, yes, and, uh, and Moises and Gravity from Cyprus, they will also be act as mentors and as evaluators. It's really important to note that we have uh, Cyprus expertise uh, in the, in the, we'll have also, yeah, Panis and, uh, and Moises. Okay. Uh, we had one other question from our uh, friend Spiros. He was asking for an email etc uh, I don't know uh, what it, what it meant if it's your email or the competition but uh, my yeah, email we, I'm not afraid to give it to, to put it here so feel free to to share it uh, it's Florian uh, that Sora TBN that you so I'm very happy to continue the conversation bilaterally uh, if you want, uh, we can also I can also be available for individual calls in order to to explain you better uh, the concept, the registration, to pass you to the registration, everything. But uh, do not hesitate to write me. So it's Florian that Sora to be in that you. I'm adding the comment in the Facebook comments. It's okay because this is live to Facebook. Uh, if you. Uh, if you have any other questions, please feel to add them in the comments of uh, where you are watching, either if you are watching from Disrupt Europe or Disrupt Cyprus. Uh, we're discussing uh, the CAST uh, Virtual Hackathon. The uh, Virtual Hackathon is on Sustainable Tourism Challenge. And if you just log in uh, in the Facebook, we. Florian did a presentation. You can watch it even later in your own time and you can find details in the comments to register. I, the deadline is uh, again to remember to remind 25, the, 29th, 29th of June, the next Monday, end of the day, 29th of June. So you have plenty of time uh, still for those that are uh, very used with the hackathons. I know that hackathons can be organized in one week as well. So. You don't have one week, we have, you have only a few days left, but yeah, do not hesitate to register now these days because it will be, be very helpful for the organiza from the organization point of view for us uh, and you are going to really facilitate uh, the, the work that we can do in order to match you with the right competencies and mentors and so on. So do not wait for until 29th of July, 29th of June, uh, next uh, Monday, register from now. Yeah, from my experience, because I have organized also hackathons in a European level in the past, um, and every, everyone stays in the last minute. <laughs> yes, we are. This is the. And yeah, we are really aware of that. Uh, but yeah, we are trying to pass this message that uh, it, it would be good to have, uh, to have people registering uh, earlier. Earlier, because it's a whole organization. Uh, and we want to give you visibility as well. If there are companies, we want you to give visibility on our social networks, on our um, media channels. So it's not only that you are uh, facilitating us the work and uh, you are facilitating uh, yourself for quality networking and uh, yeah, afterwards uh, a visibility for, for the teams as well. So I think that I, we are aware <laughs> that the last... Um, by the way, if anybody, anyone is listening, we, as far as I know, you have also mentor registration. If a mentor wants to join in, they can register. You are already full on that aspect. We are almost full on that, uh, but uh, we can take uh, exceptional mentors uh, if they are. Uh, please do not hesitate to also register. We have a page uh, dedicated on, on FXS. 
both so both registration for the teams and as for the mentors passes through FXS uh, and for the mentors we have yeah between 15 and 20 right now it depends also on the teams that will be registering so we are trying to have also some backup mentors so if you want to register as mentor uh, we are we'll be happy to to analyze your your candidature as well Saskia is mentioning the, the thanks to all the people who join. This is a very exciting opportunity for startups in Cyprus. Let's hope we see startups and teams and members, anybody can join the hackathon also from Cyprus, but also from other European countries if you are listening. Uh, we'll clarify that with Florian. Uh, and uh, again, uh, many thanks for um, that uh, you accepted to be one of the judges and help you uh, on that aspect. Um, Very happy to have you, Panis. We, we are really aware about all the expertise that you have in, uh, in Cyprus and yeah. uh, your collaboration with our members. And uh, yeah, well, it will be very, very interesting to have you on board. It's a pleasure. Okay, I think pretty much we'll cover everything. I don't know if uh, uh, I don't have other questions. Uh, let's uh, okay. let's uh, let's remind again the dates. Uh, the website we you can register. We have the website. You can register in the comments. You can find the website. You can register in the comments. Just remind the dates and yes, have a closure date. and have a closure uh, again from you, Floria. Um, yes. Then. Thank you very much. Then uh, just wanted to very uh, quickly again thank you, Panis, and thank you to the attendees. Uh, I'm happy to see that there is interest uh, there uh, locally in Cyprus, but also in Europe. Uh, this is really our target. Uh, uh, both Cyprus and Europe can uh, can join. Uh, the dates are first of July, third of July. Uh, you will be offered with many, many interesting opportunities, business development opportunities, workshops, mentorship, uh, interesting speakers, companies that are going to testimony, interesting prizes that are going to, to offer you the possibility to follow up in your business venture. So really do not hesitate to, to register uh, on, the, on the link that uh, Panis just uh, shared you. Or if you have any more questions, uh, feel free to contact me. I will be very happy to to exchange with you bilaterally. Okay, great. Here, just uh, just some small announcements also from me uh, that uh, on uh, on the, tomorrow we'll have another another uh, disrupt Cyprus live with an innovative dance project in Cyprus spirit. Be announcing more on Friday. Also, you'll find me talking about startups in Saskia's uh, broadcast show in, in CYBC. And we have also a workshop about 3D modeling on the Saturday. You can find everything in our blog. And uh, many thanks again, uh, Florian, for your time to notify the Cypriot and the most European, more European uh, fans and followers about this opportunity. Let's see a lot of uh, startups and people register. Thank you a lot and we speak soon. Great, fine. So it was great uh, being your, your person speaking today. So thank you, thank you everyone, everyone. So thank you, speak soon.